Hello, my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, could be your person. Okay. All right. So I just filled up that lighter and it's not seeming to want to work. So I feel you guys were trying to work on something and it just doesn't fucking work. So it's time to release it. Okay. Let's clear the energy out. Take a deep breath. I want you to put up your hand and take a couple deep breaths and push over your energy to me so I could get your best guidance possible. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. So know that tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. I'm gonna just say my little my little prayer for you guys. All right, water signs. So, to begin with it, I feel like there uh, is some fuck shit going on. You get my drift. With the sage not being, you know, not lighting up. And when I was getting ready for your read, my evil eye necklace uh, popped out at me. So you needing to protect your energy from devilish people. So whether this is you being fucking toxic to other people or other people are being toxic to you. Take it however it resonates. There's control issues. There's manipulation. There's evil eye, evil intention. And someone's fucking with the wrong one. Someone's fucking with the wrong one. That's the bottom line. Oh, now, now shit's smoking up. Now shit's starting to come to light. Right? Come to light. The fuck shit behavior of people. It's messy. Someone's being fucking messy. All right. I'm not really digging the energy. So, is it you or them? That's doing some dumb shit. Alright, let's see. What's going on, water signs? What is going on? Somebody is trying to uh, get at you. They're trying to penetrate your protection shield. So maybe people in the background doing spell work or talking bad on your name. It's throwing you your conflict here. All right, what's going on with the uh, water signs? You know, justice is justice is going to be served in a partnership that clearly there's no more love in it. There's no more love with this uh, Libra or Gemini. There is no partnership here. All right, what's 
going on water signs yeah death card here moon energy this is what i'm seeing somebody's being deceptive somebody's hiding stealing cheating running away withholding emotions and that's why there's an ending here because someone can't take responsibility of their own fuck shit so it's a dead end There's no more howling at the moon for this person. Someone wants the moon energy to end. The deceit to end. The hiding emotions to end. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody may be hiding a person from you water sign or that's you are you hiding a person let's see burdened this heavy burden here a lot of responsibilities you're trying to hold it all together you're trying to stay balanced you're holding back. You're being greedy with your time and attention and your finances. Centering the read is an ending of death here. So you may be, um, there may be a death coming in. Or this is just a cycle ending. Or a behavioral pattern ending. There's no more commitment here. Because somebody doesn't want to get therapy. Somebody doesn't want to grow. Somebody doesn't want to get better. Somebody doesn't want to see their fuck shit. So, charging away. Someone's charging away from this. Yeah. And they don't care if they're causing tower moments either for you. Or you don't care if you're causing tower moments here. Someone's being thrown out. And not invited back in. There's no more effort. Rowing away from conflict. Rowing away from moon energy. Someone's pissed. Maybe you, maybe them, maybe both of you. Somebody's pissed. But. You're rowing away from it. No longer traveling towards the situation with this person. Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups? Somebody's messy. Someone's wanting to be single and independent. That's probably you. You're very uh, emotional. Very sensitive. But you're trying to transform from your emotions. Being heightened. What's this burden here? Burden is... You're not trying to grow something anymore that just doesn't work, that you may have had from childhood. <clears throat> There's no more being nostalgic. There's no fortune here. Um, someone's trying to rock your stability, your financial stability with the Wheel of Fortune. Or the King of Pentacles. Or this is what you're doing to them. You're no longer showing this connection stability. And you're rowing away from a home. A partnership. A family. You're rowing away from something that used to give you the Ten of Cups. That's no longer giving you the Ten of Cups because there was things that were hiding in the background. Nine of Pentacles. Shit. No travel. Cutting shit off. Not thinking of ways to make things better. Walking away from the spilt milk. Because you were feeling stuck in this situation, Pisces. Alright, so 
There's an empress here. You're looking at yourself as an empress. You're putting down your defense. You're putting down your guard. You don't feel like your emotions are being met here, that there's not going to be any new emotional beginning. Feel like this person is a thief. They run away. They escape the issues. And you're bored with it. You don't want love energy with this person anymore. So you're running away from it, Cancer. To become the emperor. You're trying to boss up. And value yourself. Prioritize yourself here. <clears throat> How does this person feel about you? I think you guys are just not... You really don't like each other. You're both in... And lack this person, you know, they're sitting there like, all right, well, there's no love here anymore. I know about the options. I know about the illusions that you were giving. And I'm moving away from it, not taking action towards it. Somebody who wants to wave their wand or cookie around town and be toxic and manipulate and hold you sexually. Somebody wants to keep you bound and tied. You're not having it though with the Seven of Swords in reverse. It's a wrap, it's an ending, Scorpio. It's an ending, ending of the burden not taking action, there's no movement. There's no action, there's no movement. You don't feel like this person is an empress or an emperor. You feel like this person is uh, maybe a weak piece of shit that's sitting in their immaturities and their insecurities and they're looking outside themselves for validation instead of committing to you. Or this is how they feel for you. They don't feel like there's fortune or abundance here. Pisces. So... You guys can continue to hide and tuck away and try to gain your victory somewhere else. This person's like, okay, go ahead. I'll remain here. I'll be here with my stability. I won't try to heal it with you. You don't look at me as the star. So I think it's a mutual thing. This person doesn't feel like you give them love energy. You look at them as a star. You don't feel like they're doing that for you. You feel like they're thieving on you. And that they're stroking everybody's wand or cookie around town. You feel like they're going through your shit. That you're being stalked. Well, they feel like that about you. Somebody's cutthroat here. This pissed off energy. No longer waiting around. No longer waiting for a transformation in this connection. It's done deal. It's going to remain stuck, Pisces. There's not going to be any movement. Nothing happening with this person. C'est la vie. Arriva Delci. Someone made a choice. Somebody made a decision. And now they have to sit. They have to sit with the decisions that they've made. And you have, to dis you have to sit with the decisions that you made. What's the outcome of this relationship? Someone's just disgusted here. Like, disgusted by deceive, deceive, deceiving energy. Disgusted. You go behind my back. You shit talk. You make me out to be the bad guy, the enemy. Fuck that. Talking all around town. I keep saying there's no fortune here. There's no healing it. A judgment call. To go off and heal on your own. To become the star. 
Judgment call to finally see that there's no fucking abundance here. There's no change. Change in behaviors. Change in attitude. There's no growth. There's no evolution. Someone's content in being a fool. Juggling you. Being wishy-washy with you. What is this? Charging away with your cup of love in hand. Galloping away. Coming out of your head and feeling bound in the situation. Not feeling happy in the situation. Not, you know, there's no victory. And that's why it's a wrap. It's an end. This is a false person. Or you are. Who's the false person? Is it you that's not learning from your, your actions, your behavior? Or is it this person? Doesn't matter. There's a new emotional beginning. King of Swords, going icy, being very harsh. Uh, could be sitting in dissatisfaction and boredom right now. Wanting to talk but not, not approaching the situation. Being defensive and protecting yourself. Not wanting to deal with the topic. <laughs> and that causes heartbreak. You don't want to talk. You don't want to be honest. You don't want to be clear. You want to continue to break my heart. And do some fuck shit to make me not sleep at night. I can't keep traveling towards you passionately. There's no resting and rejuvenating with this person. Leaping away from a marriage, partnership, because of foolish behavior. Because of the fuck shit. This is fuck shit. I'm not really digging this read, guys. Somebody's pissed. Somebody's just throwing you fucking evil eye. Are you doing this? Both of you are doing this. Both of you feel burdened. Because the juggling. Either juggling you with other people or finances. Coming in for the water signs, hermit, devil. You're now cloaking away from the devil, away from either Virgo or Capricorn. You're cloaking away from this person, um, feeling like they're a narcissist, feeling like they cloak, feeling like they uh, don't any have any type of wisdom. Someone's hiding the fact that they're toxic as fuck. They try to cloak this aspect of themselves. They probably have a lot of people fooled. This is like a wolf under sheep's clothing. Or that's you. Thief. Snake in the grass. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for brighter days to come in. Be careful who you're fucking with. Because I don't think you know who you're fucking with. Give it a fishy cup of love. Water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's King of Wands. Coming out of a loving partnership. You're waiting for another lover to come in for you. 
maybe a fire sign that's hot and heavy for you. Capricorn, hot and heavy for you. That's just sitting, waiting to take action. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is watching. Watching you. Not liking what they're seeing. They don't like what they're seeing. They feel like you're be you're deceiving them. I feel like this person's pissed off at you. I really do. I really feel like this person just feels like you are on some dumb shit. You're on some dumb shit. And that's why they're traveling away from you, protecting themselves, moving away from you. Moving away from the conflict. But someone's not speaking clearly. Like, they're here. They're here being the master manipulator. They hear swirling all this bullshit in the background, this negative talk of how toxic you are, getting friends and family involved. But they can't speak the truth to you. They manipulate you. They're trying to get to you by doing this stupid shit with the people that are around you. They're trying to throw you into conflict. In the background, this person is pissed off at you. But I feel like they're projecting themselves. They're projecting that they're pissed off with themselves, but they would never say that. They would never give you that honesty. You're healing. Aquarius energy. You're going to come out of a crossroads. Yeah, someone feels like you don't have very good intention. You don't have good intentions for them. And that's why this partnership is ending. There's heartbreak and, and somebody's not working to make it better. Not working to rejuvenate the connection. They just keep piling it, piling some dumb shit onto the connection. You feel like the, connect, the things are resolved and then boom, this guy over here got to do some fuck shit. And then it's not reciprocated. There's victory here. You're going to claim your victory. Judgment calls being made. To get out of waiting and watching and getting out of mental conflicts. And go towards things that value you and uplift you and recognize you for to be a great person. I don't think you two have been the best to each other and that's why you've been defensive with one another you stop shining light on one another leo cancer one of you has gained higher counsel becoming wiser give good advice you listen to people maybe meeting somebody at a coffee shop yeah, there's no legacy here. Someone feels like their baskets are being left empty. Choosing to be single and having celebrations on your own. Let's see what this person wants to say. That they're unable to. This is my Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck. Twin Flame inspired. It was our time to part. Mm-hmm. I see that. Because this shit just not... Everybody's miserable here. Shit's just not good. It was our time to part. Somebody may be a heavy drinker too. Maybe an alcoholic. But they're just fucking smug. They got the ego that they can't lay it down. They can't lay down the ego. Goodbye. Goodbye. Trust me. Trust me. Don't break my heart. So somebody comes in and love bombs you. 
or this is what you're doing. I kind of feel like it's a lot of you guys that are being toxic. Not to say that this person doesn't have their toxicity, but I feel like this is you guys. This is you guys, the thief. So look at yourselves. Don't get mad at the messenger. Look at yourselves. Look how you're coming up deceitful. Look how you can uh, be seen as a thief in the night. Where What you're trying to escape from. What you're running away from. Are you speaking truth? Are you speaking clarity? Or are you just trying to poke the motherfucking bear? You may be trying to poke this person. They may have hurt you in the past and now you're out for fucking vengeance. Nah, come on now. Come on. It's not the way to be. Some of you guys are not thinking rationally. You're just like, you thieved on me. You toxic. You cheated, stealing, stealing from me. You bad mouthing me. You're making me look like the motherfucking devil. You're making me look like the thief in the night. Meanwhile, you're the thief in the night. You're living in your obsessions. You have the addictions. You have sex addiction. You have alcohol addiction. You're constantly running away. Don't try to blame, blame me for this shit. They may have rejected you. You're going to come out of rejection. You're going to come out of your head. And you're going to get unstuck, Pisces. Someone was shook of all their good feel energy. Shackled to the situation. Can't move. No passion. For one another. No nothing. There's no help here. No support. Mm -mm. Judgment call. To protect. To defend. Because of lack of reciprocation. Somebody felt breadcrumbed. So once this clears out, let's see what's going on. So somebody's really irritated. Yeah, look at that. All the towers. They don't give a fuck how many towers they, they throw at you now. You've thrown so many towers at this person. They're numb. They're numb at this point. You've rejected them and rejected them and rejected them and backstabbed them over and over again. You left them withered. In a depression. Unable to get up. They tried to defend themselves from you. And you knock them down even further. So some of you guys could be the narcissist. Or you have tendencies. Narcissistic tendencies. Maybe that's some of the realizations that you're having right now. While you lay in bed. You're like, fuck. What did I do? I couldn't lay down my guard. I couldn't show this person the, the real me because there's fear of showing the real you. Maybe you're not willing to look at your own fuck shit. And now you have to look at it because this person's not taking it anymore. No more nostalgia. No more playing. No more going to past memories. There's completion. There's traveling away. Coming out of the wounds, cutting off things. I just feel like a lot of you are not resting. You're not resting and you're really having a hard time healing from the wounds. 
You're gonna get unbound though. You're not gonna be bound to it. You just, you know, feel bad at the fact that this person couldn't see your value, had to constantly poke at you, make you feel like you didn't, um, you didn't add anything to their life. You didn't add value to their life. Upset by the fact that this person couldn't communicate nicely with you, couldn't be honest with you, couldn't be opened with you. Instead of, they use the sword to cut you down and shut you the fuck up. <sighs> you gotta find your peace, though. You gotta find your peace with it. You gotta come out of the, the heartbreak. You're moving away from the heartbreak. In the next eight days, eight weeks or so, you feel a lot better. By the eighth, maybe. Real quick turnaround. Grim Reaper. Relationship is over. No second chances. It's time to grow and transform your fucking life now. I'm telling you, somebody's coming for you. They don't want... They don't want you to be stable. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want... Uh, they no longer want to be playful with you. They don't want to enjoy your company anymore. They don't want any of it. No more paradise. Stabbed in the back. They feel very heartbroken over you. They feel very stabbed in the back. By this shocking attack. By this shocking news. By this deception that you're given to them. Lightning strike moments. Cutting tongue. Shocking news. Surprise. Upheaval. Hmm. This is a motherfucker, I tell you. This is a motherfucker. This person's mental. You have transformation. This person's watching you and they're wearing a mask. They're masking. They're masking true intentions. They're playing pretend. They're pretending to be something that they're not. Yeah, pretending that they're this loving affectionate person blowing kisses see the love bombing there so this person self-absorbed narcissist yeah one-sided relationship love bombing the mask is coming off yeah a lot of gossip going on. Getting lots and lots of people involved. Feeling heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost and grieving you. Breakup. Rising as the phoenix. Someone just can't let go of their deceitful, nasty nasty way about them. They're nasty. They're nasty. Or you're nasty. Both of you are nasty. What that? Where are we going, guys? So I want to give a big thank you. I got a new sweatshirt now. Uh, Top Top Hoodie, Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking Group that I do every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. 
if anybody's interested, if you want to learn more about yourself and um, if you don't have friends, just come down. It's $10 weekly. If you can't afford it, just message me on the website under services and bookings to RSVP. And I'll let you in for free. No worries. So I want to thank uh, Market, Market Me Apps at Gmail. She made my logo translucent. My son made the logo, so thank you to my son. Uh, she, she helped me make it translucent so I could put it on the shirt. And then I also want to thank um, Creations by Shiana. You can look her up on Instagram. She made the shirts for me. And uh, Froggy Friends for All made me a weighted blanket for my nephew. Uh, so I want to thank her, and she sent a little frog um, heating pad in there, and she made me a little turquoise earring, so I do appreciate all the gifts and stuff. And you could find her at froggy underscore friends underscore on Instagram. So that's the shout-out. Uh, thank you for helping me. Okay. Mm. So death of, of a love connection. You know, there's change. There's, you know, look at this. There's judgment called to just surrender at this time. And stop the blame game. Stop blaming. And stop being patient and waiting for this person to change. Because, you know what? Some people don't change. Some people don't change patterns. Once a shithead, always a shithead. All you could do is higher your frequency and your vibration if they want to come along with you then they come along with you if they don't fuck them bottom line fuck them let them go in love energy wish them well and then keep it pushing Abused, yeah. Someone feels abused. I can't be with you. Because they feel that you're an abuser. Or you feel like this person is an abuser. Someone feels abused by you. I just want sex. They feel like you just want sex from them. And that you don't want to give nothing else. That you're only always choosing you. Always choosing you. Never making them feel like high value. You always choose you. You're always abusive. You always want sex from them. And then you leave them. But divine has your back. Non-committal. Yeah, somebody feels like you just... You couldn't... Uh, Feed just into them. How to feed into everybody. Where are we going? What an affirmation card for you guys. So I'm live every Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on TikTok. Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards, Jesse. On TikTok and YouTube, also live. Follow me on Instagram. The more places you follow, the easier it is for me to pull on your energy. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith and love of the universe. So you're going to go very quiet. And become the observer. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. So continue to have visions of your dreams. And they'll eventually they'll catch up to you. Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. So focus on things that are thriving in your life. And not uh, people, places, and things that are trying to suck the life out of you. And you know being an energy vampire to you. 
And that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate the likes, donations, kind words you give me on a daily basis. Remember, give me some comments. Throw up an emoji. Hit the like button. Share the share the reads. Uh, let me know that you're watching. So I'll continue to do these reads. Otherwise, I'm going to scratch them. It's the bottom line. The air signs and water signs, I got to get these numbers up. Otherwise, it's not worth my time um, to do it for you. Even though I love to do it. Uh, but my time, you know, is valuable. So that's that. All right, guys, keep yourself in high regard. I'll see you again next uh, week and for the live on Friday. Bye, guys.